Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition Survivor Radio Network where we talk about the launch of the Sony PlayStation 5. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. On the other side of the console launch, we have the Sony PlayStation 5. Much like Xbox, Sony is bringing two new consoles to market with an all-digital model at $399 and a disk drive version at $499. Aside from the disk drive, which impacts the overall shape, there are no other differences between the consoles. Both can play games at 4K, 60fps or better with ray traced reflections and super fast SSD load times. The PS5 has an 825GB onboard SSD drive, but with the OS and standard software installed, there's about 667GB of space available. So if you go the digital route, just be aware that right now there are no integrated expandable storage solutions available for the console and we'll have to wait for an update and a list of recommended NVMe drives from Sony before we can take advantage of this feature. This means you may have to swap your installed games out or back them up on an external drive. That being said, there's still plenty of reasons to consider getting a PS5. Where the Xbox Series S and X could be considered an evolution of past consoles, the PS5 is more of a revolution over its predecessor. This has both pros and cons. While the Xbox maintains compatibility with all of its past accessories, the PS5 will not allow you to use the DualShock 4 from the PS4 on new games. That is mostly because it's not really the console itself that makes a leap in technology, it's the DualSense controller that has most people talking. The DualSense has many features you expect from a PlayStation controller, such as built-in speaker, improved integrated microphone, share button, and touchpad but the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers added to the controller are what you have to feel to believe. The best place to experience this is to talk about the first PS5 exclusive game, Astro's Playroom. This title is pre-installed on all PS5s. And while it may be primarily included as a tech demo for the new controller, it's also a pretty decent platformer with tons of PlayStation nostalgia. While playing through the console system themed levels of Astro, you can feel every step on metal, sand, mud, or grass differently. Every raindrop and every gust of wind from the haptic vibration motors. Everything is extremely precise and feels just like you'd expect it to feel and exactly where you'd think it would be coming from on the controller from left to right. If you have a Nintendo Switch and are familiar with the HD rumble on the Joy-Cons, you have a little bit of an understanding of how this works, but the DualSense takes it to another level. The adaptive triggers bring something else to the table as well. The L2 and R2 buttons come equipped with an internal screw mechanism which can adjust the resistance as you press. This means that springs feel springy. Guns have recoil and resistance. Braking and accelerating can get harder the faster you're going and tons of additional possibilities. Of course, we'll have to see what game developers aside from PlayStation Studios work to take advantage of these features. But with games like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Warframe already announcing support, we can be hopeful this is more than just a gimmick. So what about games? Fortunately, the PS5 delivers on that front as well. While the PS5 doesn't offer as extensive of a backwards compatibility and enhanced library as the Xbox, almost all PS4 games do work natively on the PS5. Game saves will transfer on a game by game basis. Some of the bigger PS4 titles like Ghost of Tsushima and God of War will see 4K 60fps modes after an update. And if you're new to the PlayStation family, or just missed out on some of the last generation's best games, the PS5 features the PlayStation Plus Collection, PlayStation's closest comparison to Xbox Game Pass. While you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you have access to 40 of the most popular PS4 titles, like God of War, Bloodborne, Uncharted 4, The Last of Us Remastered, Ratchet and Clank, Detroit Become Human, and many more. All you need is an active PS Plus account to download and play any of these games. Let's jump into the other games launching with the PlayStation 5. Bug Snacks. Talking about Bug Snacks? 
This quirky cross between Pokemon Snap and a comedic character-driven first-person puzzle adventure is free as the first PlayStation Plus game of the month for PS5. Featuring all your favorite snacks slash animals that say their own names and are totally not Pokemon, Bug Snacks is a fun time catching and feeding Bug Snacks to the island residents as you uncover the mystery of Snack Tooth Island. Pick it up while it's free with PlayStation Plus through November. Demon Souls. This punishing PS3 classic is remastered and remade for the PS5 by Bluepoint Games, who is known for their Shadow of the Colossus remake on the PlayStation 4. Featuring a one-to-one -one rebuild from the ground up with enhanced graphics and 60 FPS frame rates, fans of the Souls-like game should enjoy this originator of the genre. Godfall. This loot-driven hack-and-slash action RPG features a stylized fantasy world where you choose from a handful of powerful Valorian knights, each with unique powers and abilities. Play alone or with two friends to defeat the evils of this mythical world. Godfall launches on PS5 and Epic Game Store November 12th. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales The sequel to the 2018 hit Marvel Spider-Man game has you fill the sneakers of Miles Morales as he works to protect New York and fight the city's rogues gallery in the absence of Peter Parker. Miles Morales features an all-new, compact story in an upgraded and improved version of the previous game's world. The deluxe edition also includes Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered. Spider-Man Miles Morales swings onto PS4 and PS5 November 12th. Sackboy A Big Adventure The star of the Little Big Planet franchise steps out on his own with a few friends in this crafty 3D platformer. Great for all ages, this casual co-op adventure features a variety of themed levels and puzzles that can be completed alone or in up to four player co-op. Can you save Craft World and defeat Vex to become the Knitted Knight? Sackboy A Big Adventure launches on PS4 and PS5 November 12th. The Pathless. This open world traversal puzzle game by the makers of Abzu, The Pathless has you gliding and flying through a beautiful world while avoiding the ever-present storm containing corrupted spirits until you can defeat them and dispel the curse that grips the land. This combination of relaxing exploration and tense stealth is available on PS4, PS5, Epic Game Store, and Apple Arcade. So have you been lucky enough to pick up a next-gen console yet? Are you planning on picking one up? Let us know in the comments below, and stay tuned for more PS5 coverage here on Survivor Radio Network. I'm Dragon, and this has been our SRN special console launch coverage. Stay tuned for more regular weekly videos on new games and news as it happens.